Good morning everyone, Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Welcome back to my channel and to Vlogtober. So today is organization day and I thought I would share with you how I've organized my kitchen. So first of all, here's a quick look at the kitchen from, I'm standing at the dining room doorway and straight on to the left, you've got the pantry and I've done a tour of that. So I'll link it above for you guys. And then this is how it looks. And again, you have seen this quite a few times. So I'm just gonna show you what's inside. It's very self-explanatory. I will add in anything that I think you need to know. So right by the back door, this is where I have my coffee station just there and the kettle and straight above is where I keep any coffees, teas, biscuits and then right at the top I have extra light hot chocolate and other hot drinks. I also have spread so honey things like that, medicine and vitamins and then I have treats in here and this is Alex's treat so I keep it out of his reach. And then I have our bread bin, crackers and biscuits. And now below the coffee station, this is our junk drawer. So you can see very junky. And then next to it is our cutlery drawer. And then this is a fake drawer. And this is a fake drawer because they are underneath the sink. And then the cupboards, the first cupboard is Alex's cupboard and it has all his lunch boxes, plates, Tupperwares, anything to do with Alex. And I've hang on the door this little holder and it just keeps bottles. He's out at the moment in school so there's a few missing. So that's that one. And then next to it, I have this double cupboard and this is where I keep all my pots and pans, as you can see, but also my glassware, which I use instead of Tupperware. On the door, I just have this hanger which keeps the lids together. I have my mixing bowls there, my Lucruso pan at the back and ovenware as well. So right next to the coffee station is the sink area and the windowsill. I love having a window just above the sink. Let's me look outside. All I can see is our garden. On the windowsill I've just got some herbs and then knickknacks and then what I use mostly so washing up liquid and anti back spray. I also have this drainer. This is from Next. I will link it below for you. A little sponge holder from TK Maxx. The sponges are minky. I really like that. And then I have my soap dispenser which is Joseph Joseph and my Brita water filter. And then underneath you guys have seen the pots and pans there. These two don't work. And then here is a very awkward cupboard because it hits the washing machine. And all I have in here is stuff related to cleaning. So in this bowl, I just have extra bits and bobs. And this bowl works really well because I can just drag it out. Because again, it's an awkward cupboard. Then at the bottom, I just have my microfibers and other bits and bobs. So moving around, the washing machine is there. It's the only place for it, even though I do have a utility room. That utility room has no plugs or plumbing to have a washing machine or a dryer, anything like that. So right above it, this is what you see. This is where I keep all my plates, cups and glasses at the bottom here. This is my new dinner set which I purchased from Wilco's. If I can, I will link it below for you. I absolutely love it. Let me show you. I went with white. My other dinner set was getting really ropey and had quite a few cracks in it. 
I stuck with white. White is the best color for your dinner service. It will never go out of fashion. It will showcase the food. If you're buying a new dinner set, stick with white. I love these. I like the cereal bowls, also soup bowls, whatever you want to use them for. The little dessert plate. I love the modern lip of the plate. And these are the dinner plates. Just another view. I have quite a lot of different types of bowls up there. There you go. Moving along, we have the cooker. The cooker comes with the house. That's for safety purposes. It's plugged in by the military housing people and it has a hood as well. And then moving along, you have one cupboard there. This is what it looks like. I have a cake right there, but it's usually doesn't live there. I have my boards, my utensils, and then my essentials for cooking like salt, oil, olive oil, that kind of thing, spoon rest. Um, and then in this cupboard, this is what it looks like. I keep my essentials like lentils, basmati rice, spaghetti, and there's a pasta one is there as well. And then Lazy Susan with the like teriyaki sauce, sesame oil, red wine vinegar, all that kind of stuff. And then above I have like um, gravies and then squashes and um, open bottles of oil. Underneath this worktop there is nothing there as you can see cupboards wise. So at the moment that's our recycling, excuse the mess. And this is where we keep the cat food potentially this is where I could put a dishwasher or a dryer. We still haven't decided. That's that side. Then immediately across, this is what we have. We have that awful heater that it's never been on and it will never be on because it drains electricity. And this is what it looks like. I keep my Thermomix there, just a few bits and bobs. And let me show you the drawers. The first drawer has other utensils like the ice cream scoop, bottle opener, can opener, that kind and of thing. And in the next drawer I just have all my spices and right at the back there any stock cubes and other bits and bobs like that. Immediately underneath those drawers is my baking area and you guys would have seen me organise this only last week or a couple of weeks ago. I will link that video below for you. Then we're going to head into our utility room. There used to be a door here, but all it did really was block the light and it actually opened this way, hence why this is here. So we just took the door off and on this side, on the worktops, I've got my microwave and my toaster. Just behind, I just put some trays. I'm going to show you the top cupboards. This is where I keep most of my jars, my jar collection. It's quite empty because I'm using quite a few at the moment. So that's what that looks like. And then immediately underneath, this is kind of another junk drawer, but it's got things like replacement lids and chalk pens and string, little bags, that kind of stuff. And then the next drawer has all my kitchen towels. And then underneath I have all the other bits that don't fit anywhere else. My bottles, my, uh, those are baking trays, not baking trays, cooling trays for cakes my slow cooker, my Dyson attachments, there you go. It, on the other side of these cupboards, Paul hang for me my plate rack. I don't use it as a plate rack, I just display some of my stuff on it. I love having that there. And I think the plan 
is to get something very thin that can go here, more storage. But at the moment it's empty. On the back of the door, we have an over the door um, iron and iron table. What do you call those? Iron thing for ironing. I don't know the name or I can't remember the name because I don't use it very often. Um, I hang some aprons here when I'm not using them. And then I, this is what I have up there. I don't use this very much apart from what you see. Otherwise, it would get in the way of these. I could use that for coats, but because it's next to the kitchen, I don't want it to the coats to stink of food. And this is what this unit looks like. Junk I hide in this corner. And then got my cookbooks, my fryer, more glassware that doesn't fit in the cupboards. And that's my DIY kit. So I have loads of little bits and bobs in there. In this corner here, I have my mop. It's like a steam mop. This is where I charge my Dyson as well. I keep my tripod there, junk corner. This is it, junk corner here. And my fridge, which is next to that. And in here, I just keep more junk, guys. More, more and junk. And that is it. That is how I've organized my kitchen. I hope you like it. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow for more Vlogtober. Bye for now.